sadness at the loss of the, the individuals and for the, par the parents to be present here and all the relatives. Um, Mr. Elwell, I believe it was every country grounded the max before we did. Every country. Is it because they were too quick to draw a conclusion from two airplanes going down in similar circumstances and realizing the flying public should be protected in their countries? Or was it because we were just so much better at using data and not being concerned with the fact that there were two identical or closely to a, close to identical crashes? How were we last? Well, Mr. Cohen, as I mentioned earlier, the FAA is data-driven, risk-based systems approach. We don't deviate from that because it's critically important that that's how we operate. You, you mentioned we were the last. Um, as far as we know and we have talked to these countries uh, who, who, who grounded their fleets, we were the first country to ground because of a data that linked the two accidents, which is critically important. Us in Canada, I must say, Canada also waited till we had that data. And the data was not available until the radar tracks were refined to suggest and, and in evidence we found on the ground that linked the two flights. So the opposite of data is common sense. The other countries acted on what looked like with common sense that there's a causal connection and a reason to think two airplanes fall out of the sky and they crash with similar problems with, with keeping the plane under control after takeoff and high speeds. And that's because you don't have the data yet, you're jeopardizing another airplane. It just seems like common sense should have taken control. Data's fine. But sometimes it's just right before your eyes. There was a story, or an article written, that pilots of planes that didn't crash in the United States kept noticing the same basic pattern of behavior that is suspected to have been behind these two crashes. This was in the Dallas Morning News review of voluntary aircraft incident reports to the NASA database. Pilots all safely disabled the MCAS and kept their planes in the air. But one of the pilots reported to the database that it was, quote, unconscionable that a manufacturer, the FAA, and the airlines would have pilots flying an airplane without adequately training or even providing available resources and sufficient documentation to understand the highly complex systems that differentiate this aircraft from prior models. Mr. L, how can it be that we didn't tell the pilots about MCAS and implore them to be aware of it and the situation? This was the system that was put in to allow there to be a, what was arguably a new airplane to compete with Airbus, and we didn't tell the pilots? So, Mr. Cohen, the reports that you're referring to, they're called ASRS. Um, it's a uh, reporting, a indemnified safety reporting system. There were in the... 50,000 flights in the max, we had 24 reports that mentioned, from pilots, that mentioned some sort of anomaly on pitch. None of those reports were related to the MCAS, zero. And so, and as I, as I mentioned, we scanned and filtered every one of those flights for evidence that there was MCAS or AOA vein anomalies in the U.S. fleet. That is what FAA needs to do. It's what we did. There were no reports of MCAS anomalies uh, reported on, on the MAX. Has, has the FAA considered re requiring that pilots that fly the MAX get simulator training? I, I'm sorry, do you mean? In the future, that anybody that flies a uh, uh, a 737 MAX, that there be a simulator and that they be trained in that simulator? Well, sir, we, we need to wait for the, the Boeing application of the fix. Once we have the official application of the fix, we'll be able to determine if and exactly what sort of training will be required for MAX pilots. And one last question. Media reports indicated that Boeing underestimated the capability of MCAS by a magnitude of four times in its initial submission to the FAA and the FAA only found about 
it from Boeing's notice to airlines explaining MCAS after the Lion Air accident. For the record, can you please confirm this account? And if that's not correct, please clarify the timeline. I'll, I'll get an answer for you on that question, sir. I'm not familiar with. with okay, we'll put it in our written yeah, question. Take it for the record. I yield back the balance of my time.